Hi everyone, welcome back. So Crochet Vox, Tracy here, and this is a little chat video. And um, I'm a kind of a bit dishevelled, I do apologise. And um, if you think it's a bit of a weird colour in here, it's later than I usually make this video. Let's turn this around, maybe that makes it better. Um, the reason being, um, Gary had his hospital appointment this morning and everything was fine. Um, but after it was finished, um, rather than, well, it wasn't this morning, it was this afternoon, um, rather than come home in rush hour, which is absolutely no fun, especially at the moment with everything being disrupted around our roads, we thought we'd go to cinema and um, watch Furiosa. And uh, then we could come home afterwards when the traffic had gone. So that's what we did. And it was, uh, Gary loved it. Um, and he said, did you like it? And I said, it was all right. And so he said, well, don't you like it? And I, went, I didn't say it was horrible, Gary. I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said it was all right. Because you see, even when I was young, I wasn't like a mad Mad Max fan. Bear with me. Um, you know, I liked it. I watched it. It was all right. Um, it's not a film that I'd go out of my way to watch. You know, it's not. And as much as I loved Mel Gibson back then, sorry, I've got something in my eye. Um, oh, <laughs> hang on, this works. As much as I loved Mel Gibson, it wasn't my favourite Mel Gibson movie. It works, it's weird that. So, um, I watched them though because it was, you know, they were, they were on, weren't they? They were everywhere. So anyway, we watched um, Furiosa and then we kind of looked at the time and thought maybe we should um eat out but um we decided against it because we'd got enough food cooked and well not not gary's got to cook his but um we came home and it wasn't until we got home and i noticed there was a we have missed you parcel thing shoved in the door and i thought oh i actually had um a parcel that was meant to come today for Hobby Rocks um, via FedEx. And um, I went online and I did the, we're gonna be not be in, can you do it? And I picked the date, picked it tomorrow. And so that was all, yes, we will do that. We will, we will do that tomorrow, we'll do it Thursday. And then this morning I had a, your parcels out for delivery notice. And I thought, that's weird. And when I opened it up, it said Thursday. So I thought, oh, well, maybe they just sent that too early. And I just think they've been very, very special and confused because they tried, they did deliver it today. And so I looked at the card and it said, delivered to your neighbour on the left. And I thought, well, that's kind of depends on what way you're facing, doesn't it? If you're facing the house, left is Colin. If you're facing the trees, left is Lee. So... I figured maybe he was looking at my house, so I went and see Colin and he had it. So he came in for a cup of tea, so uh, dinner's even later than it would have been. And while well, Gary is getting his ready, I said I'd do my video, but he's got scampi and stuff like that that I can't eat, so that's why he's got to cook it. So let's do the, um, look, that's the best picture. I'm just saying. Let's do this and see what Thursday brings. I hope you had a good hump day. Um, oh, this is the water um, on Mandalorian's homeworld. And if you take your helmet off and you do naughty things and you want to be um, kind of probably well, sort of baptised back into the ways of the Mandalore, you have to get in that water. So, um, yeah. It kind of re reaffirms you this is the way and all that stuff. So let's do the joke. Mum joke. Did I put, yes I did put a place. I can't keep calling it a placeholder when it is, um, what is the word I'm trying to think of? Do you ever get that where you're stuck and you can't think of the word? A placeholder. <laughs> it's not good though, is it? 
a bookmark. That is the word. If it was an actual bookmark, I probably would call it that, but it's actually an ice yarn label. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where my glasses are. I don't think they're in here. Nope, they're not. So we will do a light instead. Let's do the light. If I've got good light, I don't need glasses. So where were we? I'm putting my son through school single-handedly. Well, I shoved him through the doorway while holding a toddler. But that's a start. It's very true, that, isn't it? I can remember that. Oh, I hated the school run. The worst thing of my of my kids' kind of childhood for me was the, the school run. It was something that I could not abide. I really could not. I hated every second of the school run. From the mums with the Chelsea tractors that didn't know how to park, to the nucleus of people, little clumps would stand around all clicky and uh, look down their noses at you because you're always late with your hair all over the place. <laughs> this goes hand in hand what I said earlier, wasn't it, yesterday, when I said about the fact that I was always on the fringe. I was never the one that was tidy, no. I was always the one that had, like... <laughs> no, I didn't have sick because... Uh, I was going to say why my baby's sick, but no, I didn't have sick because Mike was never sick. Paul wasn't sick either, but, you know, they never spit up or anything like that. They never wanted a part of any of their milk, you know, so that's mine. I'm having it. And I don't give it back. But, um, yeah, so anyway, um, I hated the school run. And the fact that they, the roads were jammed and the, there was nowhere to park because schools never really let you in the, on the premises and with the car anyway. And the, all of the areas outside had light, double yellow lines on them and apart from a few spaces... So once they were old enough and I didn't have to actually physically stand there in the in the um, playground and then they give the child to you, you know, when they're able to be let out on their own. I never even entered the car park. I used to just pull up, open the door, get them in, drive off, you know. Didn't even really, sort of wasn't there long enough for even a bird to poop on my car. I was like, boom, boom, it was, did you like the sound effects? Yeah, yeah. I, I, though I didn't really enjoy my kids going to school in, in any way, you know, I didn't like anything about it. From the struggle to get them to do homework, all of it, from, from the keep getting, the, I was the mum, I was the mum that always had the phone call, you know, about their son. Oh, we, we just, we need to talk to you about behaviour, that sort of thing. You know, other mums got the call that said, oh, you know, he's passed everything with flying colours. We think he's a genius. But I got the call that said, we need to discuss this. Can you come in? Yeah, that was my life. <laughs> Normal, I suppose. But yeah, I sometimes think if only I'd homeschooled. But then, you know, then trying to get them to do the work would have been just even worse. Ooh, anyway, I don't know how I got into that. Oh, there, the, the joke. So, yeah, The Furiosa wasn't bad. It was a good movie. Um, I don't know how long it was, but um, before we were, the, we were a bit early, so we went and had a Costa. I, I had a tea. Um, and we, so when we got in there, I thought, yeah, I'd better go to the loo because I've had, I've had a drink and I'd had water in the car as well. So, sitting there with my Coke, I hadn't really drank very much, and I thought, I'm dying to go, you know? And I don't like leaving a movie, because I always feel like I miss something. And I just sat there like it, and in the end I went, oh, I'm dying for the loo. Gary said, why don't you go? So, I thought, oh, if I go now, I won't miss much, because they're only just attacking something. So, I thought, right, I'm going to go. Off I went, come back. They're still attacking it, so I hadn't missed anything. And um, got out, and uh, I needed to go again. I was like, what? And it was cold in there. It was all right at the start. And we've noticed this about the cinema. We always take a coat. Even if it's like 90 degrees outside, you've got to take a jacket, like a fleece or something. Because on the inside, it will be like a fridge. They put the air con on, and it gets really cold. And 
even when we used to go to a different cinema, we used to have to take stuff to cover us up like blankets. And um, I'd be sitting there and like, something over my legs, something else over this bit of me, as soon as it came on, because it, it'd be fine. You'd be hot one minute, then all of a sudden it's the, it's on and you think, oh, it's a bit nicky in here now, isn't it? A bit parky. So um, yeah, this one's no, no exception. They let you roast for a while and then they turn it on and they just freeze you to death. So yeah, always take, I when I take something anyway, because I don't know about you, but the bit of seat that's between you is fine until you get one of those with the cup holder in it, because they're plastic and they kind of ridges annoy me. So um, I always put it on the arm. So I've got a nice surface to put my arm on. And then if it gets cold, then I just put it over me. Freezing it was, absolutely freezing. I suppose they do it to keep you awake, just in case it's dark and warm. It's like, I don't know, maybe that's why, I don't know, but it really was, really was cold. So yeah, nice, um, nice day though. We, um, apart from half of it was hospital, which is never nice. And it was quite a wait as well, but you know, we got quite a bit done. A um, few little errands as well. So that was cool. And I did go and have a look at some yarn. Yeah, I kind of, when we went into, into town before we had the Costa, um, Gary went into CEX. I can't call it what it is. I can only call it CEX. That sound right for me, calling a shop that. Especially when it's about gaming and movies. Anyway, if it was about bondage, then maybe it would work, but it doesn't for me. Anyway, not that I'd be going in a shop for bondage. <laughs> Look, I'm red now, and I. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so a few doors away is a shop that sells a bit of yarn, and I've been in there before and got a few balls in there. But they tend to do a bit of James C. Brett, a little tiny bit of King Cole, but they have the budget stuff. And um, I looked and I thought. Um, I don't need any of these colours and I don't need to show you this. I've shown you this stuff before, so I didn't buy anything. I put my basket down and I left. Um, then I had a little look in um, a shop called New Look. See if that, and they had some really nice sandals in there. But they did have a bit of a heel and I thought, is that a little bit too high? If they'd had a little tiny platform, it would have been fine. Because obviously that would have meant the heel wasn't quite so so big and i thought you know that they, they will really hurt after a while we're, we're walking on those those hills but they did fit they did actually seem quite soft but i did i just didn't get them anyway so yeah we had a good good kind of afternoon dinner's going to be very very late i didn't get to sleep till about sort of two-ish yesterday and i don't really know why but um, I don't know, we, I just couldn't sleep. And I woke up early. What's that about? You know, I always feel like if you go to bed late, you should get up late. You still get the quality of sleep. So I've got five hours. And I know from working previously at the ambulance service, when I did my shift work, that if I got five hours sleep, I was good. If I got six or seven hours sleep, I was not good. But five and eight was my numbers, you know. I was okay with five and I was okay with eight, but anything else, any more than eight, it was like a sleep hangover. Anything less was like, oh, why well, didn't know why? Well, I just needed a little bit more sleep. Apart from five, five was fine. So that's probably why, because it was five hours. I'm babbling away here, aren't I? About dribble. <laughs> Good job I'm not dribbling away. <laughs> I suppose that will come, I suppose. Anyway, I'm sorry about the light. It does look really weird. Um, I have got my ring light on and I've, I've opened the, the blind to get a bit of light in, thinking it might help. And I haven't got the nebula on because the, the charger was doing something else. I've only got one charger. And um, I, I could put some batteries in it, I suppose, if I can find them. So tomorrow I have an unboxing. For, no, I have um, a yarn quest. But tomorrow I shall film my unboxing, which will probably be up on Friday. 
Yes, that sounds like a plan. Can you believe that the week just just flies by? It's almost then back to weekend and doing all the weekend stuff. And I feel like I've only just done that. It's just crazy. It really does fly by now. They say as you get older, time just flies by. It is true. I can remember when summers seemed to last forever. Now we don't get one, so it doesn't last forever because it lasts a day or a week. Because that's all we get. Anyway, I am going to get off and go give get Gary a hand with dinner. It's just, I've, I've got to make a salad. Nothing uh, crazy. I've got chicken and salad. So thank you for watching. And um, yeah, Yarn Quest tomorrow, what I bought while I was shopping. So that that might be good. And uh, then an unboxing. It's a massive box. And I think, uh, you know, there's only one reason it can be that big. I, I didn't order that much. It, it's just got to be something I've got for me. Must be. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.